So what is going on with James Krause and who is he? James Krause is an American businessman and former mixed martial artist. James Krause participated in the UFC's welterweight division. Krause was a professional MMA fighter since 2007. He has established a reputation by competing all across the country, primarily in the Midwest. Krause has also participated in competitions for groups like Titan FC and Bellator. When Krause is not preparing for fights, he runs his own gym, Glory MMA and Fitness, and Lee's Summit, Missouri, where he instructs Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts. He's also a coach. I would also like to add, Krause is also a heavy better and even has his own Discord. He helps people with the best picks and he's in the midst of a big betting scandal. So what happened? And why is James Krause in a big betting scandal? In the beginning, they had Minner at a plus 170 underdog, who is James Krause's fighter, and Shailen at minus 210 favorite. Hours before the fight, the betting odds went berserk. Derek Minner jumped to plus 288, and Shailen went to minus 368. During the fight, Minner twists his knee, and it was called a TKO stoppage. Many people are accusing James Krause that he had given out info before to his Discord, so the betting changes could have came from James. More suspicion arises when Krause had an interview with Ariel Halwani about him betting and betting on his own fighters. Very interested in the uh, the betting side of How things. How often do you partake yeah. in this? Oh, I bet every single card, just about every. Fight. Really? Yeah, after the, I have a Discord, like two thousand members, and we crushed it last week. We destroyed it. Uh, like I'm, I take over people's accounts and play for them. At first, the UFC denied they suspected any foul play in in the case. But later on, one of the first to act was the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, which banned wagering on any event featuring Kraus and his students. What followed is a total ban on betting on UFC events in Ontario, the biggest Canadian state for betting action. Alberta then followed next. The Nevada State Athletic Commission announced they're suspending Kraus's coaching license during the investigation. The UFC then released a memo notifying all fighters those who continue to work with Kraus going forward will not be able to compete in the UFC. This coming weekend, Marcello Rojo has a scheduled fight. Rojo is still free to participate despite his affiliation with Glory MMA because there's no prior notice for him. The UFC then released a statement saying, Following the fight involved Derek Minner on November 5th, 2022, UFC was informed by sources that suspicious betting patterns had been observed on the fight. In the weeks following the fight, UFC has been cooperating with multiple ongoing government investigations into the facts and circumstances surrounding the contest. On November 18th, the Nevada State Athletic Commission informed UFC's and Minner's coach, James Krause, that Krause's license was suspended and would remain so while NSAC conducted an investigation into the matter. UFC has since advised Krause and the respective managers working with him working with impacted fighters that effective immediately. Fighters who choose to continue to be coached by Kraus or, or who continue to train with in his gym will not be permitted to participate in UFC events. Pending the outcome of the of the aforementioned government investigations, further UFC has released Derek Minner from the organization. Along with the safety and health of its fighters, UFC believes there is no more important component of professional mixed martial arts than the, than the integrity of the sports. Weeks prior to the Minner fight, the organization sent formal notification to all fighters and members of their team that they and certain other defined insiders were prohibited from wagering on UFC events. This was an extension of UFC's pre-existing and since updated fighter code of conduct, as well as a recognition of various state, federal, and international law and regulation, expressly prohibiting conduct that threatens the integrity of the sport, including but not limited to insider betting based on non-public information, fight fixing, and other such misconduct. UFC will continue to take the necessary and appropriate steps to ensure compliance with and enforcement of its policies and those of the jurisdiction in which it operates. Minner was later released from his contract. There have been rumors going such as a claim that NSAC notified the FBI about the alleged improper activity and that they are continuing their investigation. Another story claims that after deleting his Instagram account, Krause's devices were all confiscated. James Krause is the coach of a number of UFC fighters, including Brandon Moreno, Jeff Molina, David Onama, and Tim Elliott. This weekend, Marcello Rojo participates at UFC Orlando and trains at Glory MMA. It is going to suck for Brandon Moreno because he is going to fight for a title shot on January 
and we'll probably have to switch camps and find another coach in order to fight for the title. Thank you guys for watching. Credit to Cody Stokes for the information. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if I got anything wrong in the comments below. Peace.